pretty much he put oil on everything. Like, what is going on in these arms? Like, what what is that muscle right there? That's a new. He like made a new muscle basically. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is sponsored by 1907. 1907. 1907. Check out 1907.com. Coupon code Russo. And let's not forget about the ASMR spritz. Intelligent Elephant Carbon. Coupon code Russo. Young LA coupon code Russo. There's the plug. Today, I am going to be reacting to the new Synthol King, which his name is Luis. But first off, if you guys are just stopping in, be sure to subscribe, click the bell, and like this video. All this PED content is shadow banned. I appreciate all my hardcore OGs, but let's get to it. So Luis Carlos, aka Luba Hulk, is from El Salvador, Brazil. So I wanted to feature Luis because I'll Andrew throw up the definition of body dysmorphia. I feel like he's a prime example of body dysmorphia considering he's using pretty much all sight enhancement oil. And you know, my opinion, Andrews, he might just be like using like literally going to the store and getting cooking oil and then shoving cooking oil in his body, right? It's not even like synthol or like something like safe and sterile. It's probably like he goes to like, oh, I don't want Pam and just gets vegetable oil and just fills himself up to make himself look bigger. So I'll have Andrew find the video where I talk about me using sight enhancement oils. So I am no shy goat away from sight enhancement. I have put sight enhancement oil in my rear delts and so have all your most famous IFBB pro professional bodybuilders. Do stretch the fascia to again allow the muscle to grow is the theory behind sight enhancement oil in a professional bodybuilding sense, meaning that there's this layer called the fascia that goes over the muscle of Andrew throw up a pick. And then if you jabbed oil under it, it would push that out, which would let new muscle cells form. That's the bro science theory, obviously used in moderation, obviously used on weak body parts. You know, when you follow a professional bodybuilder's career and you see that lagging body part, lagging body part, lagging body part, then all of a sudden magically it fixes itself over the course of four months. They threw in some sight enhancement oil. Everyone throws sight enhancement oil on my opinion at the tippy tippy top level in their rear delts it's really impossible to get the flare that some of these guys have on their rear delts without jabbing tons of sight enhancement oil back there and i would do face pulls every day all the time training my rear delts they never looked that good coach trevor did a bunch of sight enhancement oil in my rear delts and when the sight enhancement oil was active i had a big round full delt that was complete from the back to the front not just like the front the middle and then the back's lagging behind so there is like some sort of ploy usage, this SEO, and it's not going to go away. It's not healthy. It's kind of dangerous putting random oil and have it sitting in your body. Point being, it gets to a point where dudes don't want to train anymore. They just want to look big and their body dysmorphia. They think they're small that, you know, they start going nuts with the sight enhancement oil. There was this famous 16 year old who, Andrew, he filled his, um, his biceps, like he literally looked like skin and bones but he filled his biceps to a point where they exploded and they had to cut parts of his arms out because they had necrosis and then he had to get his arms drained and he got like 400,000 followers off promoting that abusive dangerous lifestyle and his rise to fame was because of that and that's disgusting and that's the way it's going so I'm not here to really put this guy on a pedestal I'm here to like highlight that this sight enhancement oil addiction is never going to go away and don't fall down this road although I feel like people who fall down this road you know it's going to happen but not a big promoter of seo obviously seo is gonna be in bodybuilding forever but this is an extreme case so so i'm looking at this dude's traps and it must be first off the traps are insanely painful to inject there's tons of nerves there you should never, ever, ever inject your traps. And this guy doesn't have a neck. Where is his neck? And this obviously, when you do sight enhancement oil, when I did it at least, you have to use extremely long needles and you have to go pretty much under the muscle to make it look natural. Like you're propping your actual muscle up. This guy just did it 
directly in the top of his muscle. And as you can see, it doesn't look remotely aesthetic or, and this isn't no hate as it's just the truth black pill it doesn't look aesthetic it looks very strange when he's talking i don't understand visually how he likes you know seeing that in the mirror obviously this oil is entrapped and could leak out into the rest of the body and it's definitely not healthy so just highlighting the trap so this guy does go to the gym here he is shaking his his ass which is shaking his i <laughs> i I'm trying, I'm trying to maintain here. Like, look at this dude amount of oil. Look at this. This is the thumbnail right here. It looks like he has it in his quads, everything. This gotta be like one of the most extreme cases that I've seen in a while. As the LUI would say, this is an oil spill bonanza. As you can see, he still goes to the gym. He trains, as you can see this pec, I don't even know how like just contracting and stressing out the pec with this much oil around it could again tear the peck off the bone in my opinion using this much oil you can see that because of his body dysmorphia him wanting to look bigger him wanting to you know he sees social media physiques and wants the easy way out it's just very shocking i guess is my reaction so pretty much he put oil on everything like what is going on in these arms like what what is that muscle right there that's a new he like made a new muscle basically he's got in his quads as you can see it's over the front of his quads he did his teardrops oh man there's like a tumor coming there it's like hanging tumor there man very hard to watch and i want to show you what he looked like before he looked fine there's no english comments but like this is what he looked like before he started going nuts with the oil and andrew can do the before and after right here it's just sad to see because i mean this doesn't look aesthetic you're not fooling no one you're not some big super heavyweight and overall it's just if i was a family member of him i'd be like look dude this isn't a good path to go down i mean some people use a little sight enhancement oil but you literally look like um andrew looks like that one like reality tv show botched where like the chick comes out with like triple g tits and like she has a wheelbarrow around it's like that doesn't visually attract me i'm just like you know look at that circus animal and then this is like more like self-inducing it like to keep up with the size you're constantly filling up 3cc syringes and just like literally just jabbing them everywhere to maintain this fake oil size that doesn't contribute to any strength muscle density nothing it's all visually for look and visually i mean you go in the gym and you see this and you're just kind of confused and like i said i'm not hating on this dude he looked fine before the seo before the body dysmorphia took over so for me if i could get a reaction on like why are you injecting your quads with vegetable oil I mean, that doesn't look real at all. So I wanted to highlight that. Obviously, he thinks he looks like the Hulk, I guess. You know, people are always going to gas him up no matter what. And like I said, I use the... Um, uh I'm not going to shout out that fucker, that young kid who almost died for clout, filling him with oil, but I'll have Andrew throw up another picture like, this is done for attention. This is done for clout. He's getting a feature on my channel. I am not for this. But that being said, the two sides of the coin, using sight enhancement oil is very common in the top of the IFBB and you will not be able to pick it out because you'll use a super long inch needle. You'll use the right amount. And if you want to go under your bicep and and push your actual muscle up visually that's going to look better on stage you're not going to be able to tell this dude is just going buck wild with it he's injecting shallow he's basically injecting into the muscle not under the muscle and overall it doesn't look visually appealing if this dude goes out you're just like what this has to stop it's not going to stop but if we bring more awareness towards number one how the actual professionals use sight enhancement oil and how this can end very badly again andrew will show that kid getting his arms drained this will never go away i hope to shed light on an extreme example it's basically in my opinion if you're competing at the highest level in bodybuilding your income is based on how you place in these bodybuilding shows that you would get a really long needle and you would inject some sight enhancement 
enhancement oil in your rear delts or maybe your biceps to bring up a lagging body part. I've seen it a lot in the top of the IFBB. This stuff is the aftermath of people getting body dysmorphia. This guy looks fine in this picture. This guy looks like a solid built dude. This guy right here, you're like, what's going on, my man? Why are you jabbing big ass needles full of vegetable oil into your traps by all these nerves damaging them? And for what? So you can look like a fucking turtle? Like, I don't understand. It doesn't look real. It's very dangerous having all this oil sit right there. And it can't be comfortable. You can't be comfortable looking like this. Like, imagine you laying down. This is like a fucking fake boob job where he's like laying down. Like, do you want to sleep with all this oil on top of you? Like, your lungs have to push this oil up. That's not even real muscle. It's not even equating to real strength. Let me know what you guys think of him. The synthol age will continue to live on, but we need to draw some conclusions here that this shit needs to be called out on and this clout cannot be rewarded like that kid. I'll see you guys in my next video.